Hello, and welcome to my next tutorial. And if you haven't guessed it already, we're making Sonic the Hedgehog. <clears throat> I know, he's beautiful. Now remember, we are working within the confines of this program called Tinkercad, which is a very great program and it gets even better if you know how to manipulate some of the objects. But let's show you what our goal was for today. <clears throat> there you go. You see it's a little bit different just because it's hard to get the spikes on here. The hands are a little bit different, but the overall you you get to see what I mean you 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 know. It's Sonic. All right, so let's get started. I'm going to start with the sphere and the measurements for this sphere looks like it's 40 by 40, so let's go ahead and do that. I'm going to click on this corner, just put 40 right there, enter, and I'm going to move it back a little bit more. And then I'm going to make this one 40. And of course, I need to make the height 40 by clicking on that center button and 40. There we go. Now, <clears throat> one thing I always like to do is try to maximize the amount of steps I have because it makes it smoother. So I'm just going to bring that up right about there. <clears throat> now, I don't really give a number for the height because or how much I moved it up because you can always change it later or change it to make it suit your needs. And that is absolutely fine. I'm just going to move this over here. All right. There it is. And the reason I started with this is because I like working with the hair first. Now, the question is, how did I get this shape? You see how it bends a little bit and ends, it ends there? I actually had to go through all of Tinkercad just to find this thing. And this is where I found it. I'm going to type chili. C-H-I-L-I. -I, enter. And here it is. Chili. And I'm going to change the color to blue. And then I'm going to <clears throat> get rid of the upper half. That way I just get the bottom part that I want. So there we go. Oh. All right. Looks like we're good. Now, <coughs> excuse me, based off what I... Uh, I've experienced earlier. Let me just move this all over here. Ah, did not get the feet on that one. Oh, wait, just do control A. It's so much easier. Okay. Whoa. So I've noticed that when I was playing with this hair, I did not really like how it just cut off all of a sudden. So I'm going to do this. I'm going to rotate this and then move it over some. Okay. Fine with me. I'm going to group just those two things right there and then i have his hair okay so this is just going to go over here i'm going to rotate that 90 i hope yep 90. okay so i'm going to drag this up and oh yeah here it is the rotate part all right oh, i missed something apparently let me get rid of that that is too funny. And I missed it again, right there. Okay, I wanna hit shift and hold that and group them again. Okay, now I am not gonna walk you through how to put all of his hair there. I'm just gonna just essentially just put all of his hair there. So we'll meet you back here when it is time to have all his hair in the right place. Okay, we'll see you later. All right, now that I've done that, and by copying and pasting, essentially, that's all I had to do. Now I'm gonna check over here. This part's a little bit off. I'm gonna just move the arrow key slightly over there. All right, now let's work on the ears. I guess today we'll be working top down. I don't know, could change it later. I really don't know what I'm gonna do here. <coughs> so let's start with the ear. The ear is actually gonna be one of these. It's called the paraboloid. I'm gonna move that straight up. And then move it back. I haven't changed any dimensions here, so no worries. I'm going to rotate that over a little bit. And then move it forward some with the arrow key. So there you go. I'm going to change it to blue. I'm using that blue right there. And I'm going to duplicate it. And I'm going to make it transparent. And let's zoom in here. So now we have exactly one on top of the other, the blue and the transparent paraboloid. I'm going to move... With the arrow key, the transparent one, there it is. I'm going to move it again with the arrow key just a little bit more. 
what I'm doing is I'm trying to go over this hump right there. Now, what I'm going to do also is I'm going to duplicate this and then move it towards just away from this. Hopefully, did I get that? Yeah. All right. So I'm not worried about that anymore. I'm going to group these two, which leaves an ear shape hole there. Now this one, I'm going to move a little bit further, this, this uh, transparent part. And then I'm going to group the, just these two by selecting just those two right there in the corner. Uh, my mistake. Group. Now I'm going to change this part right here to the skin color. Uh, I'm going to go with, is it yellow? No, too bright. That's better. All right, I'm going to move this inside, but also I'm going to make it smaller. Why? So you can see the top part. The top part really does make a difference. So I'm going to, why is that over there? Okay, here's what I want you to notice. Right now I selected this part right here, but yet it's selecting a bunch of other things. I don't know why. Oh, apparently I selected that also. I don't know why. All right, I'm going to click back over here. <coughs> I'm going to select this one and this one. Hit shift and hold, and there you go. Group. This one's going to turn into a beige looking color, but I'm going to also make it smaller. I'm going to hit shift and then drag this down. Okay, I do want the blue to stand out, but not that much. So I'm going to move that back a little bit. And then I'm just going to, without shifting, I'm just going to move that up a little bit right there and then over to the right. I do want that blue outline to be there, so that's why I did that. <clears throat> now I'm going to group both of them. Actually, before I do, I'll group them. Okay. It turned into one solid color, but I want to keep the, the colors, so I click on there. Now I'm going to duplicate. And because I want it to be at an angle over here, I'm going to actually change this. I click the mirror button, and I'm going to change it that way. Then I'm going to use the arrow key to move everything over there. Now for me, I have this set at point 0.1 millimeters, so it's small, easy to control movements. <clears throat> I'm going to look at this head on by clicking here and making sure I have this centered. All right, I might change the angle later, but right now I'm okay with this for now. Okay, let's move back. Oh, this guy's head is off. Or hair, I guess you can say his hair is off. <coughs> Already, I can see let me get rid of that one right there. I can see that the ears are much forward, much more, you know, closer to his eyes than the one I'm making. So I'm just going to drag those forward using the arrow keys. I'm just going to drag them. That's better. Okay, so now the eyes. Okay, the eyes are just going to be another sphere. Let's uh, center that. I'm going to duplicate it with this one right there. Change it to white. I'm going to hit shift and then drag this down. That way it's still a sphere. Because I can't really move it here, I'm going to use the arrow keys to move them forward. <coughs> there it comes. So now I'm going to have the eyeball. Now I'm going to be honest with you guys. I tried doing the eyeball a little bit differently earlier and I showed my son and he did not approve of it. He said, look, look kind of funny. His words, not mine. Actually, he said, awkward. It looked awkward. And I thought, fine, I'll change it. So I'm doing is a new method and it did come out better. So that's why I'm going to be okay doing it his way. I'm going to duplicate. I'm going to use, the, oh, I'm not sure if you noticed it, but when I hit duplicate, it didn't show up in the same exact, exact spot. It went back a little bit. So I'm going to move forward. So, oh, and it changed it completely. Whoa. Interesting. I'm going to Try duplicating it. I'm going to try duplicating it again. There it is. It's, it's directly on the other one in the same size. I'm going to click mirror. And I want to go that way. So now the other eye will be better and right where it belongs. <coughs> I'm trying to make that one the center line. That's fine. Click here. <coughs> fine. Okay. It's looking good. Now let's go with this part of the mouth for right now. 
And what I use there is this one, which is called the half sphere. I'm going to drag it down there, drag it over here, drag it forward a little bit. Now that it's here, I'm going to rotate it 90. And then I'm going to drag it back. It's going to be, again, that skin color. Looks a little bit like a bird, so I'm going to you know change that. To, I believe it was 25, if I remember correctly. 25? No. Let's see what measurement this was. 32. Interesting. 32. 32. There we go. And the height's got to be a little bit different. Let's see what the height is. Let's just say 20. Height of 20, and it's already there. All right, so now I'm going to rotate this because, look, if I don't rotate this, this part's going to look weird in the back. So I'm going to rotate this facing down a little bit. So it's going to go, there you go. <clears throat> I think it's personally sticking too far forward, so I'm going to use the arrow key or just move it that way and then up. All right, getting better, but I think if I move it forward, it will look better. Okay, now here's an important part. In the picture, which let's go back to this right here. <clears throat> this part of his mouth has some very organic looking shapes, meaning it's not just straight lines. This one has some curvature to it. Now when you add the eyes, which are curved, and the mouth, or the, at least the bottom of the face, which is curved, it adds that organic, organic look to it, which is very helpful when you're making characters. So just thought I'd reference that, the curvature here and the curvature right there. All right, <clears throat> I'm gonna put the nose on this guy. I'm gonna duplicate the sphere, which is his head. Make it black and solid, it's already solid. That looks like purple to me. Okay, so now I'm gonna hit shift and make it small. Hit shift and then go down like this. And then up again and then forward again, shift. All right, that's not actually touching his face. Let's zoom in and go here. I'm not sure if you've noticed, but <clears throat> his nose is actually not rounded. It's kind of pulled forward. So let's make this, what should we make it? Let's make it 10, let's see what happens. Not bad, but I think it should be better going back a little bit. So I'm moving it back. Still kind of pointed. Yeah, pretty good. <clears throat> Alrighty then. So I want to see both of them on here. So let's just click on this. Um, actually, let's get some of this together. Is that better? That's a little bit better. Okay. Let's make the eyes. The eyes are essentially going to be the same as the eye, the outer white part. I'm going to duplicate that. Hit shift and make it smaller. Then with my arrow keys, I'm just going to drag it forward. While I'm doing that, I'm going to go ahead and change this to green. I'm not sure if you noticed, but in the cartoon, green. Green on the outside and then black in the center. Okay, the size is okay. I'm going to duplicate this again. Control D and I'm going to change it to uh, black. Let's zoom in here. Whoa. Let's move that forward to make it a little bit bigger. Now let's look at the side so it doesn't just stick out. Okay. <clears throat> I'm going to select both of these. Let's see if I can. I'm going to hit shift and select that one. All right. Now duplicate and then move this over. Unfortunately, I made that thing again where I made it kind of small. Now it looks like he's been hit in the head or something and can't think straight. So I'm just going to move this forward, move it up. I don't like the way that came out and I don't want to work that hard. So click, click, duplicate and drag it over. That is not bad, but I think he looks a little bit like a puppy dog with that, that look. All right. Okay, so now I'm going to move this back because I, I do not like the puppy dog look. So let's look. Oh, too much. I'm going to rotate this over here. Oh, and then back. All right. <laughs> that 
look. Oh my goodness. I, per I really don't like that puppy dog look. And unfortunately that's, oh, okay. Much better. I'm going to drag this over here. Good. Uh, nothing against puppies. I like puppies. When there's somebody else's, I don't really want to own one, but they're cute. When they're not being mean. Okay. Let's say that's good enough for now, but no, not good enough. I need that a little bit. Okay, good. All right. Now, if you haven't noticed yet, we're missing something on the face, and that's these, I guess you can say eyebrows, and here's what we're going to do. I'm going to use the donut, which is called the, I forgot what it's called, actually. What is this thing called? The Taurus, of course, of course, the Taurus. And I'm just going to rotate it 90 degrees and move it straight up. Right around his head. So let's zoom in. Now, I'm not sure if you noticed, but it's kind of weird. I, I want as many sides as I can get. Oh, yes, much better. Okay, so now what I'm going to do is I'm going to try to create the curvature around the eye. But I want it to be stretched out a little bit, so I want to do that. And then I want to change the angle. So I'm going to change it this way a little bit. And then down here, I'm going to rotate it this way. <coughs> then I'm going to go down a little bit. I'm going to rotate it again. What I don't want is this part of the torus to be sticking out. I want it to be behind the eye. So rotate. Still not there. Okay, I'm going to rotate some more. <clears throat> okay, at this point, I'm going to click on this and then with the arrow key, move it back some. All right, that's not bad. So I'm going to now duplicate this, duplicate, mirror it so that it's going over here, and then just use my arrow key to move it over so I can have the same thing over here. All right, so a little bit more. Let's compare the two. All right, so in this one, there's a little bit more here sticking out. So let's go ahead and focus on. Whoa, that's an extreme close up. Much better. <coughs> I'm going to. Let's see, how would I attack this? Honestly, I think the eye and the eye and the eye need to be moved over a little bit more, as well as the eye. The green part of the eye and the white one need to be moved over a little bit more over here. I just need more, more space over here to work with what I'm doing. All right, not bad. <coughs> now, let's see if I can get this to work. I'm gonna move these forward. Over here, it's starting to stick out. So I'm going to move the arrows over here. Okay. Now move. I'm going to move the eye and the green part and the white part over here so you don't see that part as much. And then the other side as well and the green and the white so you don't see that part as much as well. All righty then. I'm liking it. All right. Now this part, I like that, that the shape and everything, but I want to see as little as possible of this part down here. Uh, I don't want to see any blue here. So I'm going to move this up a little bit. Yeah, much better. I think we're good. Now, I'm not sure if you noticed, but I have a mouth down here, and this is what I did for the mouth. I have a torus, and I'm gonna, you know, make the sides there. I'm gonna make it transparent, and I'm gonna change it to make the tube, whoa, too much, too much, skinnier. And then I'm gonna drag this up, and I did not drag it up. Let's zoom in here. I want this thing to be super skinny. 
So I'm going to hit shift and then drag this down. Because I don't want an actual mouth. What I want is an empty slot. So to do that, right now it's at 26 and 26. Let's just call it both 25. Let's see if we can get that to 25 and 25. Okay. You know what? I still think it's too thick, so I'm going to hit shift and then move it down. That's fine. Now I'm going to move this up and forward. Let's see if we can get that to come forward. You should be able to see this coming out right now. Oh, come on, come out already. Much better. But it looks kind of mean, so I'm going to rotate this to make a little bit. There you go. Make it go up a little bit. Still not happy. All right, now I should be able to get it. To, that's a little bit better, a little bit better. I'm going to move it forward a little bit because the more I go, the better it looks. So I have this selected. I'm going to click on the mouth and then I'm going to group the two. Now there's a little bit of a mouth there. All right. Okay. So now the body, which is going to be a sphere, I'm going to duplicate that drop it down and then I'm going to hit shift and make that smaller but I'm also going to lengthen it because it's not it shouldn't be a perfect circle okay so I'm going to make this come out a little bit more and then down a little bit okay so the size uh, let's make this 25 looks kind of whoa I'm not sure what I pressed there let's try it again 25 enter made it a little bit skinnier still don't want it to be that big though so I'm going to move it back and also move it up there I like that better so I'm going to duplicate that one I'm going to change the color to skin tone I'm going to shrink it by hit holding shift and moving that up now I'm going to move it forward and let's see what it what it looks like when it's coming forward. Is it going backwards? It is going backwards. Sometimes it does that. I don't know why. All right, let's look at it from the front. Oops. <clears throat> All right, there we go. Um, now let's get some arms. The arms are gonna be a little hard because we're gonna be using the shape generator section and the pipe, I believe it's called bent pipe. We're gonna use this for the arms. One of the first thing I'm gonna do is rotate it to 90 degrees. I'm gonna change this to the skin color. And I don't want this to be that wide, so. All right, looks like the width is 4.2. Let's make it 4.5. And let's move this thing up. And rotate it 90, I believe. Let's go with 45 and I'm going to move it over here. But here's the thing, this thing is huge. So I'm going to hit shift and then click on this to make it go smaller and then up again. Now, the reason I'm not afraid that it's so skinny that it looks wrong is that I can always change the thickness. Whoa, that's a lot. All right. So now that I'm here, I'm thinking I want to change the, the angle a little bit more. And now for the hands. <clears throat> I believe this is called a glove, so let me look that up. Glove. Nope, let me look up hand. And there it is. This is the hand. I'm going to rotate this. In the picture, now let's, let me show you the picture again. The hand is kind of going in the opposite direction, and they're both kind of facing in a very similar angle. So that's why these two. I'm going to change them in mine, but let's go ahead and rotate this. I want it to face the other way. So 180. And then I want it to face down. 90. And then what am I looking? Oh, I thought that was something else. That's so weird. Okay, I'm going to drag it right about here. Now, I'm not sure if you noticed, but there's these tubes right there. So I'm going to drag some tubes over here. And since we've already used these before, if you don't remember, we use these tubes and they're called the torus. But we're going to change them to something 
white that looks like the edge of a glove and we're going to move that up there and let's just drag this over here way too big way too big so i'm going to hit should i even hit shift i'm just going to mess with this and just go straight down i do want it to look like i'm going to get a close up here i want it to look like it's a glove so that's kind of thick and then let's play with that <clears throat> and then I'm going to change the angle a little, just a little bit. There you go. I'm going to duplicate it because in the drawing it has two of them. So move that over a little bit. But I don't want it to be perfectly like the previous one. So I'm going to shift it a little bit too. <clears throat> All right, that one's done. Now I'm going to do a sa the same thing. In fact, I'm going to just duplicate the arm over here and the torus which totally making that up don't even know if that's how you say that <clears throat> and I'm gonna hit the mirror button whoa that looks broken in many ways <clears throat> so I'm gonna switch this one to <laughs> it's not aligned very well either that's too funny yeah the body is included there don't want the body there all right, good. <clears throat> now, it looks, I mean, technically it's fine, but I want to change this a little bit. By doing this, the mirror button, I wanted to change to go this way, but <clears throat> also I wanted to rotate. I know it's kind of hard to see. Let me uh, zoom in here. Now the pipe angle is a little bit weird, so I'm gonna change that to make it not as, there you go. I don't want it to be sticking out the, that way, so right about there. And the donuts are a little bit off too. So I'm gonna select the hand and the donut right here. I'm gonna rotate it. <coughs> and then up. The robots should, or the robots, the donuts should be hanging down on top of his hand. All right, so that's fine right there. Now I'm just gonna use a very tall cylinder. Again, the sides, I need to have all the sides here. Let's make it blue. I'm gonna hit, uh, I'm just gonna make that longer, then hit shift, make it skinny. Now without shift, I'm just gonna drag this up, but don't want it to be that thick. <clears throat> so I'm just playing with this. Uh, whatever it reaches and looks good, then that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to check the sides just to make sure it's, you know, where I want it to be. Not bad. I'm going to do the same thing with the other leg. Only I'm going to rotate it so it's at a weird angle right about there. Yeah, I think we're good here. All right. So now the feet, which I always go for these for the feet. Let's make that red. These are technically shoes, so let's just call it that. And I'm just going to play with this. I'm not going to give you the numbers because I want you to be able to play with this. What I do want you to to see what I what I do here is how I get the white part. Okay. So I'm going to duplicate this and then drag it over here. And I'm going to get two of these. And let's zoom in here. I'm going to get two of these. Here's the first one, copy and paste. And then I'm gonna move this one here. <clears throat> so essentially what I'm doing is I'm going to create a, just that part of that, of that shoe. And then I'm gonna change it to white. Hit shift and then drag this over. Now I'm gonna put it right there so it sticks out a little bit. There you go, use the arrow key, move it better. Okay, now before I, I duplicate this and put it over here, I actually wanted to put a little bit of a that grape thing. So I'm gonna duplicate this gray thing at the bottom. Let's make this gray. I'm gonna drag one of these boxes over here. And honestly, the measurements for this box does not matter because, or they don't matter because, all I'm gonna do is move it up a little bit. And the amount that it goes up is currently one. I'm gonna grab these two, select them and then group them. Now I'm gonna hit shift and drag this over so that it's just a little bit bigger than the shoe so it stands out. Now my shoe is done. I'm gonna click and drag 
copy, paste. I did control C and control V. Now I'm gonna hit shift and then move this over here. Now let's see what we have. I'm gonna move back over here. Okay, not bad. Now I'm gonna see the whole thing. All right, now the ears, I'm not sure if you've noticed, but they're a little bit off angle. And when I'm fixing the ears, don't forget to subscribe, like, share with your friends, share with your enemies. Make them watch this whole thing. I don't care. But I forgot something. Did you guys notice it? I forgot the Tauruses. That's right. The donuts. I forgot the donuts as socks. They need to be white. And let's zoom in here to get that done. And like I was saying, let's go ahead and share this with all your friends and enemies. That way they too can enjoy the experience of having to sit through a video while I narrate all this stuff. So I'm going to duplicate that and then move this over. Again, I don't want them to be perfect, so I'm going to drag this a little bit over here. That's a lot, just a little bit more. I'm going to drag this. I'm going to actually duplicate both of these, drag them over here, and then I'm almost done. So you know what? I don't like it that they look the same, so I'm just going to drag this over here. That's better, but still not exactly what I want. So I'm going to drag this down. That's fine right there. <clears throat> Actually, no, this is bugging me. Uh, let's drag that one right about. Okay, that's not bad. All right, so this is what we have. Two Sonics. Um, I will probably change the eyes a little bit, but you guys get the idea. Again, don't forget to like and subscribe and to hit the notification that way you can get the next tutorial. And in case you're wondering, I'm just asking my students what they want me to to uh, model and I model it. So if you have any suggestions, go ahead and send me an email or write something on the comments about what you want me to do next and I will try to make it for you. All right, well, enjoy the tutorial and I'll see you in the next one. Goodbye.